Hey everybody, welcome back to 60 Parsecs. Uh, we learned a lot in our first run that we did. We're gonna try a second one here. I think it mostly came down to our first 60 seconds in gathering materials, or lack thereof. Uh, so in this adventure, we are gonna go into the Voyager. I think I've been uh, looking at the different characters. I think I'm gonna pick uh, Baby Bronco as our starting guy. He's got max strength, which can help in certain situations. If possible, uh, in our original... Uh, scavenging. If we can find Didi for agility, and if we can find Emmett for intelligence, then I think we have a really good crew. I don't really want to go more than that. I, I'm almost tempted to not go uh, with two extra at all. Maybe just take one extra, but we're going to look for Didi and we'll look for Emmett and uh, see how that goes. Okay. I'm getting ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I really feel like if we can just nail this first 60 seconds, get Good amount of resources, get the people that we want. We're going to be in a really good spot to be successful. Okay, so let's scout a little bit here. Oh, we got five hands to start now. There was an update recently. Okay, there she is. Oh, and the counter changed. We don't have that initial uh, bunch of time anymore. Interesting. Okay, good to know. Let's see if we can find Emmett. Oh, beautiful. Okay, now it's all about food and materials. Okay, we'll take this, I guess. No materials. Here's power, but... Alright, we got some. Here we go. <laughs> we got the uh, power materials. I'm not even sure what the first one we grabbed was. Hopefully it's chemicals. Hopefully it's chemicals. I feel like uh, we'll probably go a little bit faster than we did in the past. Um... Knowing what we know now. We did manage to get a communicator. And I think we got that battery as well. Which isn't too bad. Oh, we didn't get the battery. Okay, we got the communicator. Oh, this was the thing we picked up. That artifact. Alright. Uh, let's check here. Okay, so we <laughs> we got minerals and we got power. It's fine. Everything's going to be fine. Hey, Astro, computerized assistant reporting for duty. You must be baby, right? I'm pleased to announce that due to your actions during the escape, you are the perfect candidate to welcome the captain of this vessel. Welcome aboard the captain. Or welcome aboard the shuttle, captain. On behalf of the Astro Citizen Program, please accept our apologies for the negligible misfortune of being relocated 60 parsecs away from Earth. Current goal, find a safe place to land. Try to contact the outside world. Uh, so we've got soup. Please activate the main computer for further instructions. Floor is yours, captain. Should now give a speech that will guide this vessel and its crew through the stars. You've prepared it, of course. The crew is eyeing you anxiously. The time to show your true colors is now. This is it. You can really show off <laughs> what breed of captain you'll be on this incredible journey. So we gave an intelligence one last time with Emmett, but we're going to go with uh, strength here. That's our strong suit. So uh, we got armor as well. That's good, I guess. There's a couple things we have. Lighter, communicator, artifact, armor. And some soup, but definitely not enough. Oh, we have a sock puppet as well. Okay. Cool. Let's see how the speech went. I'm cautiously optimistic. On the edge of space, you can only survive if he is tough as nails. Uh, you fit the profile, Captain, and so did your powerful speech. May all that oppose you tremble in fear. No one can stop you and your crew. That was quite a performance, Captain. Your crew started cheering. Long live the Captain. Okay, so same, same. Crafting module is available now. Let's do it. Now, if we can become friends with three of our crewmates, that would be ideal. Uh, I still think that if we let people go to very hungry, I think that's okay. But maybe we shouldn't. I don't know. Maybe we... Maybe we let them stay hungry for like a couple of days and then reset it. I'm not sure. Okay, we could start recycling things if we really wanted to. Um, let's go ahead and make some tape first. 
Captain, it's time for a life or death challenge, the most essential task available on this shuttle, cleaning the cabin floor. From dried up bodies with squash bugs to small rubber scuff marks, the place could do with a good scrubbing. Emmett looks free. Will you ask him to apply some elbow grease or request he improvise a cleaning formula from whatever we have on board? Uh, yeah, Emmett can do it with uh, intelligence. Hopefully he can come up with something. What we lack in food, we make up for in uh, pre-crafted resources, so. We are now alert. Emmett brewed some kind of bleach that could do the cleaning trick, and the trick it did. Even better, the scent of the makeshift cleaning product was surprisingly refreshing. Uh, you all have a clearer head in this newly clean space. Crafting completed. We've got tape. All right. Now, I think what we should do is start, like, recycling some of these. So, the recent patch looks like it added additional resources to these. So, you're getting chemicals and you're getting this power. I guess that's to maybe supplement the upgrades. I'm going to go ahead and recycle the tape. And then we can start crafting some food. Interesting news, Captain. It appears that there's a hollow space behind one of the wall panels. A hidden room, maybe? Secret stash? Would be worth checking out. What's your approach to finding out what's behind that panel? Baby Bronco would smash that thing to bits, so... Let's do it. And in a way, with that change to getting the additional power, your minerals are... 10 minerals for 10 chemicals and power? Seems like a pretty good trade. You removed the wall panel and found a hidden space. The panel is pretty heavy, but you tore it away with no problems. This is already going way better. Unfortunately, you found nothing. The area was small and completely empty. This didn't seem to phase you much. I suppose you're used to disappointments by now. Emmett's loyal. Good. Okay, so now we'll get in here and make some soup. Our wondrous Astro Citizen mini reactor needs its regular coolant flush. The magnificent machine only occupies two thirds of shuttle storage and weighs less than a 20 ton truck. Truly a marvel of space age miniaturization. Keeping it in good condition is crucial yet difficult. To flush the coolant pipes, you must massage the casing gently while whispering mathematical equations to the machine. Emin is idle. Do you want to ask him to begin the flushing process? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Uh, they would like to eat something, so they're getting there. Emmett jumped at the opportunity to flush out the mini reactor's coolant pipes. He went the extra mile, optimizing the coolant flow. He found a clog in one of the mini reactor pipes and managed to rectify the situation. Nice job. And our soup is complete. Okay. Uh, I think... We're gonna craft more tape. And I guess we'll just kind of trade this for a while. Nice, okay, so we have all of those options. We'll just trade the, uh, the minerals for chemicals for a bit. Some space spring chores are necessary. First off, the equipment safety and condition evaluation. We missed our last check, what with all the pan-galactic space trotting. We should check some of our gear, and Emmett seems idle. Is there anything he should check? Hmm. Okay, why don't you check the sock puppet? <laughs> I have no idea what that does. One of the appeals of this game for me is that, like, all these random events that come up, you're probably going to see some things repeat, but oftentimes we're not going to. Okay, so they're asking for soup. You asked Emmett to grab one of the detailed checklist printouts and run through it with a chosen piece of equipment. Gladly went over the checklist. While making his thorough check, he found a small sachet of soup taped behind the console. That's beautiful. Ever respectful, he offered you the snack. Now that's loyalty. So, okay. Everyone's hungry. I'm gonna push it. I'm gonna push it into, like, very hungry status, I think. Huh. So if I recycle this, we'll have enough minerals to make one more thing of tape, and we can make another soup. Uh, unless... We could upgrade the crafting module, but I don't think we need to do that yet. Wait, let's check out what our decision is. Okay, so a mask or sock puppet. Hmm. Okay. Let's do this. Captain, I'm detecting a troubling buildup of mental tension. Recommend a course of action. Throw an epic party. I took the liberty of inviting myself. 
Invite the entire crew, but of course, the more the merrier. How about we invite someone new, eh, Captain? Somebody you don't know, or we make ourselves a new companion. Yeah, we'll make it out of the uh, sock puppet, I suppose. Yeah, we're recycling, that's good. Day seven. We're cruising so far. These guys are getting really hungry. That was a super party. I loved how you put a sock in your hand yesterday and pretended it's a person. Mysterious Timmy, apparently. You've had quite a lively debate with it, too. Well, desperation breeds unexpected chat mates, doesn't it? I found it a little weird when you started arguing with the sock and eventually tore it apart. You've got quite a temper, Captain. The important part is you blow off some steam. So we used up this thing. But I guess maybe that helps these guys uh, become friendly. Okay, so they're starving. As expected. We're gonna go soup here. Now, we don't have either of these. Nothing to report, Captain. I suggest you, uh... Do you mind covering your mouth when you yawn? I thought you got a good night's sleep. Wait, could this be boredom? Yes, I've heard that you humans need excitement to function properly. How curious. Captain, you're sitting in a state-of-the-art space shuttle, drifting through the deep cosmos full of wonder and mystery. Can you at least pretend you're having a good time? Okay, the sock's gone. We don't have the handbook, so we're not gonna do anything. I'm gonna go at least one more day. Without feeding. Okay, so starving, starving, starving. I'm not programmed for your entertainment, so don't count on me to keep you occupied. If you wanted to have fun in the shuttle, they would have installed the clown computerized assistant instead. You are correct. Okay. So, here. Let's take this time to upgrade the crafting module. Your attention's required. This is... Most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions, but I cannot identify who's sending them. More importantly, what they contain. It might be a solar flare interference or worse, a new type of Soviet encryption. We need to decipher these signals as soon as possible. Who do you want to put in charge of monitoring communications? I would say Emmett. And uh, we'll do a round of feeding here. First contact, baby. Like that. Captain, you see this? I'm not easily excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human AI, human made AI alike. We're not alone in this universe. The signals we intercepted were finally decrypted. They're alien transmissions, as in coming from other life forms. And no, I do not mean the reds. It's something we have never seen before. There seems to be a number of intelligent civilizations in this galaxy. The signals are coming from everywhere. We can safely assume we are going to meet some of them sooner or later. Our, or rather, your life will never be the same, Captain. Emmett did a splendid job. He was able to trace some of the electromagnetic interferences to what seems to be a potential landing spot in our flight path. Our ETA to that celestial body, or whatever it might be, is T-3. Emmett's loyal. We're getting hungry. Dee Dee's now taking care of her mental health and is alert. Complains about an empty stomach. Says she's glad to have you as Captain. Emmett would like to eat. So they're still hungry, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Captain, uh, there appears to be an error. Error, I am broken. Please fix me. System error. Quick action required. System error. Please, Captain, do something. Do something. I'm not sure how long it can stay operational. Act fast. <laughs> I guess we'll just bang it around a little bit. And hope for the best. One more day there. All right. We are starving, so I wonder if we have, like, I wonder if each of these guys have technically different hunger requirements in the background. Uh, the air is no more. Automatic reboot did the trick. I'm afraid it wasn't your salvo punches that helped. I dare say the beating was more painful for you than it was for me. You shouldn't overexert yourself like this. I'd recommend eating something. Oh, maybe that's why. Before you pass out from exhaustion. Navigation readings confirm we're still heading towards a potential landing site. ETA T-2. Didi's loyal. Emmett's hungry. Crafting modules upgraded. Uh, we're gonna feed you. And now that means we can craft gas masks if we want. What do we need for the decision? Just thumbs. Cool. What seems like the least useful thing? Like, it's so tough to say. In the last run, this communicator was super important. Um, the artifact was something we needed for um, scouting. 
So I'm going to get rid of that for now. Hmm. Yeah, we're feeding. Okay. Okay, I'm picking up a large object of unknown origin not far from us. It's hollow. There could be supplies inside or maybe even other intelligent life. There's only one way to find out. Should I activate our super fancy tractor beam? Absolutely. Okay. You pulled the mysterious hollow space thing aboard and opened it. Unfortunately, the astronaut hiding inside has long since perished. Decomposition of space is interesting. I gather many useful debt. No, you're right. I'm sorry. May he rest in peace. Everyone on board suffered mentally from the experience. You kept muttering it could have been me. Confused by your hypotheticals, Captain, it still could. Our course does not change. We'll still be arriving at a potential landing site soon. You, re you remain very mentally stable. Dee Dee complains about lack of food. Emmett's hungry. Might want to secure some rations for yourself. Dee Dee doesn't appear alert. Okay. Get the soup going. Oh, boy. Captain... Uh, what's up? We... Cap... Can you hear... Cap... You say argue in these situations, right? I hate raising my volume, but that malfunctioning body odor removal filter is making a racket. I think it's malfunctioning. I'm not going to use food on it, so... We're just going to suffer through. Okay, good news and bad news. Uh, protocol dictates I deliver the bad news first. Body odor removal filter is no longer working. There goes the smell. The good news is the noise is gone. Thankfully, it wasn't an essential system, not for me anyways. Your crewmates appear disappointed by the smell. All right. So, they're both starving. Uh. Hmm. Let's upgrade this thing while we have the power to do so. Strange new world out there. Really big surprise cropped up in my scanners. A dark, swirly skied planet's ahead. It's covered in a giant storm, but beneath the dark swirls, my scanners detect hazy, indistinct heat signatures and a multitude of structures. Thunderous World is probably an improvement over this mind-bogglingly empty vacuum. Should I initiate the landing protocol? Yeah, absolutely. Fobonos. Okay. So a different planet, too. Fix the shuttle's communication system. Fine. Oh, wait. I wonder how that upgrade affects that. I wonder if that's wasted. That's no storm. That's nuclear winter. He posted that this world has seen a nuclear war in recent history, and we are witnessing the fallout. However, he said that with you in command, we could weather anything. With Emmett's note in mind... You beautifully directed our craft past the worst of the storms and onto a safe resting spot on the planet. Unfortunately, however, atmospheric electricity fried the communicator on the way down. Once on the ground, Emmett looked out and realized this wasn't just nuclear winter. This was something else. This planet's surface, we experienced a number of wars and traumas, nuclear and otherwise, we'd best be wary while exploring. The expedition module in the back of the cabin is now available. If you want to survive here, someone has to go outside from time to time. The shuttle will have to do for now, but it's not fit to be a permanent shelter. One small step for Astro Citizen, one giant leap for whatever is left of humanity. So, everyone's starving. Stereo communicator is upgraded. Yikes. Communicator damaged. We need chemicals for this. Hmm. This is a bit of a conundrum. Maybe a mask. Let's see what's here. We were unable to detect transmissions of, un or we were able to detect transmissions of unknown origin. Fortunately, the communications console is damaged, and we cannot make anything out of them or reply for that matter. We could hardwire hardwire a primitive field communicator to bypass the damaged subsystems and access the shuttle's external transmitter and receiver. Yes. Okay. And I think what we'll do. Oh, look at the hazards. So, enemies, and I guess we would wear armor against, like, enemies. And this is a good one, too, because we want the uh, chemicals. We definitely don't want this. Seems like there's all sorts of problems here. So I think we'll send somebody to Warhead Town. I'm guessing we want to wear armor. Let's send him. And he can take a soup because he's starving. 
and he can take the armor. So I guess that's why we want these upgrades, is to deal with more hazards, right? Alright, buddy. Best of luck. Hungry, starving. Let's feed her. Not much I can do here. I will craft a mask. And he's gonna go out for three days, so... Food's already getting tight, but when he comes back... We should have enough to pop out some food, so...